Before we get to today's episode, we want to let everyone know that April 29th is World Wish Day. This is an annual event honoring the anniversary of the wish that inspired the founding of the Make-A-Wish Foundation. I'm sure you've heard of the Make-A-Wish Foundation, but until you get to experience it for your first hand and see the joy that your child's eyes get as they're experiencing something that's just totally unimaginable to actually happen, you just don't get it. Like it's, it's something just absolutely amazing and unforgettable. My son Jason's wish was to become a YouTube star. So Make-A-Wish had a big ask in front of them uh, on how to figure out how do you make somebody a YouTube star. As my son was going through his treatments, he spent a lot of time on YouTube and one of his favorite channels to watch was Annoying Orange. They reached out to Annoying Orange who was based out of California. They flew us out to California. We got to spend the day with the whole team that puts those things together. And he actually got to star in a you know, a handful of episodes and do some voicings of some of their uh, animated episodes. So to help other children facing a critical illness also get their wish granted, we've created a fundraising site to help support the Middle Tennessee chapter of Make-A-Wish. There will be a link down in the description. We have a goal of raising $500. My son's birthday was April 23rd. This year he would have been 13 years old. Uh, so between April 23rd and April 29th, we, we will match any donation up to that $500 goal. Now, on to the reviews. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome back to Exploring Whiskeys. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin. And today we, we have, well, we have a special treat. This treat is a nod. Maybe not exactly the same, but a nod towards the best whiskey from 2020 mm -hmm. as far as whiskey advocates concerned. So Larceny Barrel Proof won the number one best whiskey from 2020. They uh, are, well, similar. Like, uh, yeah, we were talking about this a little bit before we were recording. It's similar to what Booker's does, and they do mm -hmm. the four releases, usually in a year, um, not 2020, they only yeah. did the three releases. Larceny Barrel Proof only does three releases a year. One in January, which is the A release. Mm -hmm. One in May, which is the B release. And one in September, which is the C release. This is the C920. What do you think is the, the, the last one? Well, September to December, what do you think they do? Just someone else gets it? I don't know. No. I want that taste. <laughs> there, there's got to be a method to that, though. Why I'm not? sure there's a reason why they're releasing it just three times a year. I'm sure there's there's a couple different things that they're trying to. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know why they picked that. It's it's a little odd the fact that it's not like exactly quarters and those kind of things. Uh, the Best whiskey, as far as Whiskey Advocate was conserved for 2020, was the B520. Mm -hmm. So the May release was what they said was, hands the down, whole year. the whole year of 2020, the best whiskey they've ever tasted. Larceny is a weeded bourbon. Mm -hmm. That is, uh, there's only a handful that are like true weeded bourbons. Weller, weeded bourbon. I believe Maker's Mark is a it weeded is. bourbon. Yep. Even Buffalo Trace has a little bit of rye. It's not a true weeded bourbon. It's Le pretty. It leans. It leans it's a the, very it heavily weeded bourbon, but it's not true, true. This is just corn uh, at 68% corn, 20% wheat, 12% malted barley. Yep. I'm expecting this to be a nice and sweet With pour. a little heat. Oh yeah, a little bit of heat. This is actually coming from Heaven Hill, Heaven's Hill Distillery. This whiskey. It's the oldest. Yeah. Still stand oldest still standing family owned. Family owned, owned distillery. Independent distiller distiller in the United States. The what uh, I want to say Shapira. Shapira. Family still. They own this. They own Heaven Hill Distillery. 
having Hill Distillery not only does Larceny, they also do Old Fitzgerald. They do Evan Williams, which is one of our favorite. The Bottle and Bond. Uh, yeah, it's one of our favorite daily drinkers is that Bottle and Bond version. They do Elijah Craig. They that's do a, that's Rittenhouse. Another one. That's another which, one. That's pretty good. I, we do need to get into Elijah Craig. So I don't think uh, we've the small done ba- The small batch, it's small. Solid. Small handle. Yeah. It's it's solid. It's a solid bottle. They're, Start they have a toasted yeah, and a barrel proof. I really want to get into those. But we we do need to get into yeah. Elijah Craig. They also do Rittenhouse, which... As far as I know, they they're fam- they're more known for their rye. Yep. Rittenhouse rye is a, a pretty known rye. We haven't done them on the show yet, but we'll get there. We haven't. We'll get there exactly. But Heaven's Hill, out of Bar- Bardstown, Kentucky, they produce really solid whiskeys, mm-hmm. and including this particular weeded bourbon. Whew. A little bit of ethanol there. (laughs) So this is a barrel proof. Um, They do a regular proof. Why don't I know the proof there? I want to say it's 80 something. I want to say it's close to 90. I don't, I I can't remember if it's actually 90 or if it is actually not. I don't remember. But it's in the upper 80s or 90. I'm not sure. This particular Reese is, and each one is different. So every... Every January, May, and September, it is slightly different. This is 122.4. They barrel it at 125, which means that the angels are getting a little bit more alcohol than water out of this yep. guy. Good for them. It's sweet. I definitely get the sweet off the nose. I get a lot of that ethanol off the nose. I'm going to get... And the sweet is more of the darker notes, like a dark brown sugar, yep. a dark... It's not that vanilla y sweet like the vanilla or you're gonna get the vanilla brown sugar okay. on the taste. I, I did take a sample. But you still kinda get the heat through the palate though. Oh yeah, you do. And some baking spice in there. Yep. Ooh, yeah, there's a lot of baking spice. A little cinnamony, nutmeggy. Yeah. Why do I put it at Y at the end of each of those? <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh Cinnamon and nutmeg. We don't need to add the E at the end of that. Is there. The proof's there a little bit. There's a little bit of a burn. Yeah. And a warmth. I'm thinking if I would have taken a bigger drink, that would have been a hug. More than likely, yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking that might have been a hug. Go for it. Yeah. I mean, the nose for me is right now, because of the proof, it's just, it's almost all ethanol. It's a lot of ethanol that's coming off of it. And you will also notice the color is really dark. It's really dark. This is also the neck pour. That we, I, but even it, I, I took the plastic off before we filmed. So this is the first time we've tasted this. But to put a, a regular bottle of Larceny up here. It's lighter. Oh, yeah. Night it's and day. Lighter. Night and yeah. day. It's more. Night and uh, day. It's more. No, I don't have it. I don't have it easily accessible. I was going to say it's more of the same color as. Buffalo Trace, where it's a Probably. little bit more of a lighter honey color, mm-hmm. like a, a more golden color. This is dark. This is very dark. I enjoy the palette more than the nose on this one. The nose is just straight ethanol. Ethanol. Yeah. The nose and or the palette and the finish for me. Yeah, it's really hard to get past that ethanol. How much that comes through on the nose. I would like to see this open. Like now that it's open and let, let let it air out, come back to that in another week and see how that comes, like whether or not it airs out a touch. You still get a little ethanol in the finish though. Yeah. This one I think would be delicious on a, on a cube or two. This would be very nice on a small cube. Yep. I could definitely see a small cube because there's a lot of hints at the sweeter notes. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of hints at a, a little brown peanut, sugar, peanut, little caramel, Vanilla, peanut, some baking spices. Not getting a lot of oak, but there's a little dryness to it. No, this one though, a cube or some water would definitely open up. I think so. Open this one up. Yeah. And it would cut back the heat just a little bit so you can enjoy the complexity of it. That nose is... Yeah. That nose is aggressive. 
This is a very aggressive on the nose. But I can see why it got rated where it did. If you get past the nose and kind of just dive in on the complexity I of wonder it. how they do their testing. So I've seen where some people have reviews where they do a meat pour, a small amount of water pour, and a small cube pour. Mm -hmm. And taste all three. And then like combine the those up to come up with a way to judge it. I don't know if Whiskey Advocate does that particularly. I'm going to go with, know the answer to that. it's probably just straight up. Kind of like the book I have. Yeah, all, everything's neat, right? Yeah. Mike and Susan. Mike and Susan. Nose, not, not, for me it's not terrific, but the rest of it, palate, finish, extremely solid. So the nose You're trying to make is a little aggressive. You're trying to make the nose work. I, it's aggressive. <laughs> I can't make it work. I really can't. At this point, I can't make the nose work. And I'm, I'm, what, no, actually what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to compare this to some of the Booker's. So the Booker's is also an uncut, unfiltered, you it's, know, it's, 120 it's something. Trending, it's trending that, but this it's is. It's similar, but those tend to be a little, the those, nose isn't as aggressive. But the, everything the, else is so, on another level. I'm going to say I'm slightly surprised that that's number one. If you, no, I, well, I'm not. If you can get, it's kind of like don't judge the book by its cover. If you can get past that initial, because initially you you put your nose, you're like, ooh. It's aggressive. If you can get past aggressive. that, I think the palette and the finish, pretty solid. They're good. They're very good. But I might be slightly biased. You compare that to Granny's Batch. Well, you're obviously a huge Booker's fan. I might be. <laughs> you lean that way. <laughs> I'm slightly biased in all of that. It obviously trends in that direction. It's in the same direction, but I remember Granny's Batch being so, like, the, the smoothness, the sweetness, the nose was actually but. more pleasant. I'm just surprised that that's the number one. And it, granted, this wasn't number one. The, the May batch what was, the was proof, number one. What was the proof on Granny's batch? 126, 127? Hotter. Hotter, yeah. I think This is 122. Of, I enjoy Booker's. It's extremely hot. I think it it's, is? It's one of those you... Probably you got to work into. You either work <laughs> into it, neat, or you... A, a cube a, is probably the better way to do and it. And not even a big cube. No, it, no, no. Just like a re regular yep. refrigerator cube. Yep. Just need to drop a little one in there just to kind of mill it out. Just to, just to hit. Now, if you're going to throw an MSRP against it, if you want to do a value play. Yeah, well, different. Booker's, 80, 90 bucks, probably. MSRP for this guy, 50 bucks. If you can find it. If you can find it. Well, same, I found same though. I mean. Yeah, that's true. Booker's has become harder and harder to find. Um, but the, I mean, this, this particular bottle, I knew Larceny Barrel Proof was number one. I've been looking for the, that, like, where'd you find it? I found it on a gas station, at a gas <laughs> station, a liquor store behind a gas station in some random stop of Maryland. Yep. That's how I found it. I, it was completely an accident. But honestly, that's where you find... That's I think it's that's where you, where find, you find those things. Uh, yeah. In we, my experience, the, some of the higher end stuff or close to higher end stuff, you find it those places that are just not expected. They're not the big liquor. The big liquor stores are going to get their small allotment. Right. And but they're also going to have so many. But they're also going to publicize it. Social media, like, hey, yeah. Yeah, here's come grab all our your... Buffalo Trace, and yep. it's this. Gone. It's gone. Yep. But the smaller places are not. It's just coming in and yeah, you got to trip over it yep. basically. Yeah, we we were, we pulled in to get gas at some place in Maryland, and there was a liquor store right behind it. Walked in the liquor store, and that's sitting mm -hmm. on the shelf. And I'm just like, uh, yeah, I'll take that bottle, thanks. <laughs> I, I overpaid for it. Paid 80 bucks versus an MSRP of 50. Honestly, at that proof, at the proof, it's not, there's no age statement, but six to eight years, just like Booker's, mm -hmm. at the proof, 
non shell filtered, non all. I put this in the same category as Booker's because it's I would. a lot of similar things to it. This drinks better than Booker's though. It drinks better, but I don't know if it's an overall better experience. That's the way I. All right. This, your Booker's, in, in my opinion, just in a general statement of Booker's, it's, it's more heavy on the peanut. Right. It's a very overpowering. Well, it's beam versus. <laughs> no, it... <laughs> true. Yeah. True. I mean, that's a profile that the, the distillery a... goes for. I agree. I enjoy, I, don't get me wrong. The I fact enjoy... that this is a weeded bourbon, it is not it's as sweet as I would have expected. That is, yeah. Yep. It is not an aggressively sweet. But I think it's. I've it's... had their regular larceny. Awesome. Oh, my Lord, is that sweet, though? I love like, it. it. It's really good. It's a super poor man's easy pappy. drinker. Like, yeah. It's, poor man's it's pappy part is of the poor man's pappy. And, like makers. Yeah. It's part of the poor man's pappy to like build. But that does not come off as sweet mm -mm. as it, I would have expected for that much wheat. No, I think the heat for me and for really? you just yeah. throws it throws it into that Booker's. It really reminds me a lot of the Booker's. Without the peanut note as much. Right. I, I enjoy all of the bookers that we've had. <laughs> but it the, immediately, it's, it's peanut, 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 peanut. I was really surprised not having this yet. Knowing it's a weeded bourbon, that it wasn't a little bit sweeter. Yeah, I would have expected a little bit more sweet. And I get a lot... Of, it's just, it's very reminiscent of a Booker's. Yep. A lot of the same notes, a lot of the same like mouthfeel. Uh, everything is very similar to the Booker's with the exception. I would get, totally give that to you. There's not as much of a peanut no. note there. The Knob Creek. Uh, yeah, well, Knob Creek's a whole different yeah. level. <laughs> but it's not as much of that. What I'm really interested in is I, I can't wait to compare this to the little book. Yeah. That I'm really interested to see what the difference is, how much of a difference is there because there's a pretty material price difference in those two. I don't know. Totally biased. And this sounds, this is weird coming from me. I really think the overhaul was a better drink. Yes. It was a solid drink for a $25 bottle. $25, 20, $25 bottle, 100 proof, mm -hmm. rye, that drank, it drank better and was ranked number 13. I don't agree. I'm sure they're experts and they know way more than I know, but I don't agree. I totally feel like that was one of the best drinks surprises mm -hmm. of all the drinks that we've had that was one of the biggest surprises was how good that old overhaul bottle and bond yeah was. for the price holy yeah. crap yeah it's like the evan, evan williams bottle and bond same price yeah bottles obviously quantity is different but yeah yeah but no i agree for a bottle and bond yeah 100 proof yep 100 proof bang for really? the buck oh, for dude. sure sweet for sure complex like a couple different layers this is good <laughs> I, I don't want to knock this by any means my understanding is the uh january release for 2021 was really good we totally forgot to start there this started in 2019 the barrel barrel proof yep. releases started in 2019 it just started Figuring out how to select the right barrels to do barrel proof. They're only going to get better. Yep. So I have no doubt if this was number one this year, good possibility they're going to keep improving and yep. maybe be at least in the top five for next year. Yep. Absolutely. And again, they're it's good. They're just their original. There, I really like their original larceny. The original is sold in this one, and it's also sold yeah, in the, the big guy. In the big guy, um, 
It's solid. Yeah, it's very, very solid. solid. Especially if you're in the weeded, the weeded bourbons. If you like a slightly sweeter note to your bourbon, this is a, a really solid and usually easy to find. Very, very, very easy to find. Versus a Buffalo Trace, which sometimes... Depends where you go. Yeah, sometimes it's annoying to find, and other times it's like, oh, look, they have like 50 bottles. I don't know. <laughs> we know where to go. Yeah, exactly. We do. So, but no, I mean, overall, I mean, it, it's just a very, very solid bottle. Yeah. I think to your point, I think there's probably some ones we probably, and we've tasted a handful in that lineup that we probably would put. Yeah, I'm just, I'm in. sitting there thinking of the old overhaul at 13. Mm hmm. The Glimmerangi Cad Bull Estate mm -hmm. at 12. That's number one. I uh, Well, I, you, flip side, you got to think, though. It's also... I get... This is a bourbon. Yeah. Those are not. No. Scotches and rice. Yeah. But I think probably the panel... Maybe Kentucky-based. No, or at least not, American based, right? I, I would, profile. I would put it not Kentucky based. I put it American profile. Mm -hmm. So you're probably more along the lines of a American whiskey, American bourbon, yeah, versus a Scotch. Okay. Or a rye. Right. I no. Th I think this belongs in the top ten. I believe yes. That is exact. I agree that this is probably up there in the top ten. If you can find a Larceny Barrel Proof, buy it. It's really good. It's worth the price. It's totally worth the price. Even if it is marked up a little bit, mm -hmm. it's still worth the price. But if I were going to recommend a whiskey with no restrictions, I'd probably recommend the Glenmorangie or the Old Overhaul. Before I'd recommend that. Well, out of that lineup. Out of the ones that we've had of the top 20, which we haven't had all of them. Of that year. But we've had. Of that year. Last year. Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. Totally correct. I just, it's not, this particular bottle is good, but doesn't live, my opinion, doesn't live quite up to that. I think the proof is what does it on this one. I think it, if it was uh, 90. Well, the overall, it's 100, I'm just saying. Yeah, but it doesn't, it doesn't drink like 100. No, it doesn't. But I think if you proof that down. A little bit. Yeah, I wonder if that was 110 or 100. And 100. 100. Like a bottle of bond, like 100 flat. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, larceny. Listen. <laughs> they should do a bottle and bond version of Larceny. I mean, you know what? I might just in the really works. Good. It's probably in the works. A hundred proof larceny would be probably really a four year hundred proof. Yeah. I like that one. Do that. <laughs> sure you're watching. <laughs> I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Sure you're watching. Do that. The next month it's all going ball and bond. Exactly. I like it. So See? well, we went down a lot of tangents on this one. Oh dear. Sorry. It's a very delicious bottle. I think it's, it's good. I think it's worthy of the recognition that it got. I, Over, yeah, overall. I, I agree. It's, overall, it's worthy of recognition. Worthy of the recognition it got. I think there's probably one you could probably kind of, kind of plug and play. You could argue. Plug and play. But overall, yeah. this one and their standard are delicious. They're very you can, good. You can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. On either one. Hopefully you can find this one. If you can find it at MSRP. Yeah, well, you find definitely it, can. Just find it in general. But if not, that too. Get, get the original one. Give it a shot. This size, the yeah. handle, you can't go wrong. And you know what? Hopefully they follow Kevin's their decision and they do a bottle of bond. I really think that would be that would be a really good. I really would look forward to that. A bottle well, of bond, Larson. Four years from now, we'll find out. There you go. So, well, we thank you for joining this episode. The, we will do the original <laughs> Larcity at some, some point. point. Yeah. But we appreciate you joining. If you. If you enjoy the episode, we encourage you to hit the like button at the bottom of the screen. While you're down there, if you could, uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you get notified every time we put a new episode. Let us know what your thoughts are of any of the the larceny, the regular larceny, the barrel, the barrel proof versions. Let, let us know what your thoughts are. 
we'd, we'd love to hear from you. Till the next episode. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.